Hey guys, this is Ashley at Downright Bookish and today I'm going to be doing the end of year book tag. I feel like I always do this tag like really late. I need to start doing it in November because I feel like some of the questions require a little more time but I'm doing it today. I always have fun doing this tag. So let's just get into the questions. So the first question is, what book do you need to finish? And for this one, I'm going with The Lonely City. I don't have the dust jacket, but it is The Lonely City. This was on my November TBR for nonfiction November. I started it and then Buzzwordathon happened and I didn't do too good in that. And I was still reading the book from Buzzwordathon up until like last week. So I haven't had a chance to get this book and pick this book back up, but I wasn't very far in the book. I, yeah, I got into like page 16, so not very far in this book at all. But I definitely want to finish this book before the end of the year. And I think now is a good time to actually read it because when I think of like Lonely City, New York, I think of Christmas and snow and winter time. So I think it would be actually a good time to read this one. So I do want to finish it before the year is out. I might wait until, until like Christmas because I have like the whole week between Christmas and New Year's day off so I might pick this book up during that period of time. So the next question is do you have an autumn themed book you want to finish before the end of the year? And this question always gets me because I feel like I'm at the end of the year feels much more like winter holiday themed to me rather than like autismal but um yeah I I don't know if that's because I'm probably supposed to be doing this tag like in November but either way for this there is a book I really enjoy reading during like the holiday season winter season and I especially want to get to it this year because the movie is coming out and that is Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. I actually think I touched on this book in my um, books that I'm most grateful for and I showed a different copy. I have like three copies of Little Women. But Little Women is um, one of my favorite books. I've reread it several times and I really enjoy reading it over like the holiday season. And the movie is actually coming out I think in December so I want to read it before I watch and go see the movie. Um, so we'll see if that happens. It's This book is pretty thick and this edition is especially thick. But it is a pretty long book, so I don't know if I'll get to it before the end of the year, but we'll see. So this might be another book that I'm reading over the break that I have. So the next question is, are there any new books you're still waiting for? So technically this book has already come out, but I'm still waiting for my physical copy of it. And that is The Children of Virtue and Vengeance by Tomi Adeyemi. And this is the sequel, our second book in the Children of Blood and Bone series. And I'm super excited about this book. I have been waiting for it for a long time. I pre-ordered it on um, Barnes & Noble, but it took forever to get to me. So I have to pick it up this week. But I cannot wait to get my hands on that copy. And I'm so excited to read it. So that is definitely the book that I am still anticipating for the end of the year. But technically, it came out like December 3rd. So after I'm filming this, or it came out before I'm filming this, but I still haven't gotten my copy yet. And the next question is, what are three books you want to read before the end of the year? So in addition to The Lonely City and Little Women, if possible, there are three books that I want to get to to the end of the year. I would also probably count Children of Virtue and Vengeance on that list because I do want to read that book very soon because I have a really great video idea for that. But there are three other books that I want to read and the first is The Girls of Storm and Shadow by Natasha Nang and I've actually started this. I'm pretty well into it. I've I finished about, I've read about 100 pages so far and really enjoying it, but I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be reviewing this book, but it'll be different than my normal reviews, so look out for that. It should be coming out soon, um, and I'm really excited to share a new series type with you, which I'm going to be doing with Girls of Storm and Shadow and also Children of Virtue and Vengeance, which is interesting that they both kind of have similar titles and like similar titles in terms of like structure, but yeah. So I'll be reading those two books, doing like a different type of review for them since they are um, the second books in the series. So it will be more of a spoiler review, spoilery kind of review. So yeah, if you're interested in something like that, keep an eye out on my channel, subscribe, 
put on notifications and you'll get updated on when I post it. But yeah, so this is the one book, one of the books that I want to read before the end of the year. The next two I want to get to before the end of the year, but the likely, likelihood of that happening is very slim because we're already into the second week of December. So there's three more weeks of December left, I think. And I've already got like five books that I need to finish before the end of the year. So these are kind of like want to reads but probably won't happen type of deal. The first one is The Crier's War by Nina Varela. This cover is just stunning. Like it's, it's really hard to say on camera because my lights are kind of like flashing it but it's got this rainbow iridescent kind of look to it and it's embossed it's just a really pretty cover so this i actually talked about in my recent book haul but it's basically a i think it's going to be a female female romance and it's about kind of it kind of has a similar idea to um the children the girls of paper and fire actually but there are different casts in this world and um one of the lower casts kind of um, there's a revolution and the lore cast becomes a power so the king his daughter is being like betrothed to someone I believe and she finds out that the person she's betrothed to isn't who they really say they are so yeah and then there's another girl that is also involved in some way but it, it sounds like a really interesting story and I could not resist buying it because of this cover so um yeah either way I'm never gonna regret buying this book so yeah and the final book that i want to get to is the rage of dragons by evan winter i honestly don't know too much about this book other than the fact that there are dragons and it's by a black author and i've really been into reading fantasy and sci-fi books by black authors lately so i definitely want to pick this one up i think it's like also got a trope um, it kind of plays with the trope of the chosen one um, trope. I think that's kind of what's going on in this book. But I want to go into it kind of not knowing too much so I don't set my expectations too high. I have heard some good things about this book so far. So really looking forward to it. But I don't think I'll get to it before the end of the year. Because it's also a pretty hefty book. I think it's like 500 pages. Yeah, it's over 500 pages. So this is like a really far <laughs> dream <laughs> and the next question is is there a book that could become your new favorite by the end of the year and out of the books that i've kind of talked about in this video there are some top contenders i recently read a book that i'll talk about in my um december wrap up the 100,000 worlds and that is going to be coming close to one of my favorite books of all time so that's a pretty high um, standard, but I do think that um, Girls of Storm and Shadow and Children of Virtue and Vengeance could become one of my favorite books of all time. Um, and those are probably one of the two that I will most likely finish by the end of December. So there are definitely some contenders out there, but we will see. I mean, I haven't had like the best reading year generally. I mean, I've had a couple of five stars, but nothing that has really been like super amazing other than like Kingdom of Souls and all the books that I've been reading for um, by Nydia Korafor. She's probably like my favorite author of 2019 because I just binge read like most of her work. But yeah, I mean, there's still some top contenders in there for sure. And finally, the last question is, have you made any 2020 reading goals? And I am working on my goals as we speak. I'm really excited to share them with you this year and hopefully I can keep up with them. I have been notorious for failing and not keeping up with any of my goals and that is something that is one of my goals that I want to work on is being more consistent. I'm going to be I'm going to try something new this year by having like a word of the year like some people do and my word of the year is going to be consistency because I am lacking a lot of consistency in my life um, especially with YouTube reading in general so these are things that I want to do especially because reading writing booktube those are things that I'm really passionate about and things that I want to put more effort and time into because I really enjoy doing them so all that to say, I'm working on my reading goals. You guys will see a video of that very soon. So those are all the questions in the end of your book tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below 
what book you want to finish before the end of the year. I'm curious to know what books you guys are reading. So yeah, let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to stay updated on some of the reviews that I'm going to be doing before the end of the year and also if you want to know what my um, 2020 reading, writing, slash booktube goals are going to be. So yeah, thanks again for watching and I will see you guys very soon with another one. Bye!